For today's event, we have two contestants fighting for the championship race, and here they are! For our first contestant, let me introduce you to Liam. He's been racing for so many years. His experience is outstanding. And his competitor, the youngest and most promising racer of our generation, Elvin. Give a warm applause. This is going to be an interesting match. Who will be the next racing king? You'll soon find out. The match will begin in half an hour, so stay glued on to your seats. Hey, Dad. Do your best to win this year's championship. I know that you can do it. Carlson, it's not about that. Fighting against Elvin is an honor. He's a genius in racing. Huh? Though his style is not the usual, his skills are extraordinary for his age. And because of that, he's beaten a lot of players, young and old. It's very impressive. I think he's a unique player. Have you seen his flash drift technique? Hmm, I have. No one can figure out how to beat it, so if I want to win, I have to give it my all. This is going to be a challenging match, so I am not going to be complacent. What do you want from me? <laughs> Stop bothering me and leave my car alone! <laughs> <laughs> not so fast. Unless you accept defeat, I'll never do that. <laughs> <laughs> Take this! I happen to have won the drifting competition, so why would I accept defeat from you? You sure about that? Time to say goodbye to your car! No way! It's my grandma's gift to me! You can just buzz off! Well, we don't care about that. Besides, that car from your grandma is a piece of garbage. Who's dumb enough to keep a rubbish car like that? Let's destroy it, guys! Mm. Stop it! Hey guys, let's push his car off the bridge. What do you think of that, huh? Stop it! Uh huh? Huh? Uh -huh. So this guy's also a racer? And what gives you the right to bully your fellow racer? I'm not gonna let you get away with this. It's none of your business, okay? Just stay out of this. Go take care of Isaac. I'll take care of this guy. Let's see what he can do to us. Okay. <laughs> huh? <laughs> the fight's not over yet.
He wants to help, eh? Let's beat him together! Okay, I've got to do something to win against the two of them. And now for my special technique, Flash Drift! He disappeared! Where did his car go? How did that happen? I don't know. He used the special Flash Drift technique. Uh, Could he uh, be? It's Elvin, the Racing King. Are you all right? I'm okay. Here's your car. Take care of it. Uh, but Elvin, you're hurt. <laughs> I'm fine. As a racer, our car is the most important thing to us. So we must protect it. Because without a car, we can't race. Listen uh -huh. to me. If you work hard enough, there's no challenge you can't win. <laughs> What's going on? We've been waiting forever. Attention, everyone. Sorry to keep you waiting. The tournament committee has decided to disqualify Elvin. He didn't show up on time because he was late. The match will not proceed anymore. So without further ado, the winner is Liam! Hey, Dad. Hmm? Oh, hello, Carson. Are you done fixing my race car? The first World Racing Championship is going to happen this year. I have to practice very soon. My dream is to be the World Racing Champion. <sighs> it's finished now. Wow, it looks awesome. Thanks, Dad. This car is called Stormfleet. It's a work of art. It has all the characteristics of a great racing car. It's incredibly easy to control, and it's very, very fast. I'm sure that you can win the championship with this. I put my heart and soul into making this car, so don't let me down. I believe you can do it, son. But Dad, I'm just wondering, do you think that I can beat Elvin with this car? Is it good enough? Elvin's disappearance is still a mystery until now, ever since he didn't show up at the championship almost three years ago. Nobody knew where he went. No one has seen him. Nobody's heard from him. I was crowned that year, but I never really got to fight. In the racing world, he was unbeatable. I'm still wondering, if we had fought, would I have beaten him? I think it's your time now. But Dad, what are you talking about? Does it mean that you don't want to race anymore? No, I'm too old to race. I really think you have a better chance at winning than me, son. <sighs> anyway, why don't we go outside? Let's try the car out. Mm-hmm. The two-time national champion? I've seen him race before, and he's a tough opponent. Wow. Mm, he's never lost a game in his career, and nobody's broken his records until now. He's so cool. Now's the time. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Let's go. This car is just amazing. It's the fastest car I've had, and it's made especially for me. How cool is that? Everything I've ever wanted in a car is right here. I'm so lucky. 
Hey, Dad, aside from its excellent control, what other special features does my car have? You want to know? Why don't you push the left button? How did that happen? That's so cool! It's a new feature called Freely Speed Shifting, or FSS. There are different gears in the remote control. Select a gear and the car will accelerate. It will do it instantaneously without restriction to its gear sequence. So you don't have to worry. It's easy to use. That is awesome! Stormblade! Freely Speed Shifting! Ha! One minute and 35.7 seconds. And it's broken the previous record. That's great! Carson, you may be the best racer in the country right now. But you have to work harder and strive to be the best in the world. You have to push yourself to be better. Yes, I will, Dad. Guys, you won't believe this! Huh? You know what? I just saw someone use the flash drift! Huh? Really? Do you know his name? No, I don't. All I know is that he's the fastest racer in his community. The Flash Drift? Is it Elvin? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think my car's gonna make it! Oh, hurry up! You can do better than that! Come on! How to use the flash drift. Do you know who Elvin is? How did you know about the flash drift? There's only one person who mastered that technique. Why should I tell you? Admit it. I don't need to tell you anything. Did he teach you? Hmm. Truth. Oh, I know him. Hmm. He's Carson, the two-time national champion. He's famous. What do you think about racing against me? And what do I get out of it? Come on, don't be a coward. It wouldn't hurt to try. Hmm. doing it. Still, he's not as good as me. I'll win this match. Isaac starts the car in third gear. And that might be the reason why you were falling behind. Uh, third gear? Because he knows that he won't pick up speed if he starts with the first gear. And he'll lose at the starting line. He uses the third gear to speed up his car. It gives him a boost at the start of the race. That's his technique. Oh, I see. But what he's doing might damage his car. Look at my new car. I won't risk getting it broken just to win this race. I know that I can catch up soon. You may be a more famous racer, but I don't care who you are. I've been racing since I was a kid, so I won't go easy on you. I'll show you exactly what I'm made of. This car that I'm using is my father's latest design. There's no way I can lose to an antique. Stormblade, kick it into high gear! the guy challenging Isaac is? His name is Carson. He's a two-time national champion. Mm. Oh, Isaac mm. doesn't know this, but he was offered to compete against him. He wants to know who taught Isaac how to flash drift. That's what he's doing here. Uh, 
What's going on here? Something's wrong. <laughs> is something wrong with the track? Having a little trouble? This track is pretty different from the club. It's uneven and more demanding than the track that you're used to. It's challenging for the car and the racer. I'm sure even a national champ like you is gonna have a difficult time with this track, that's for sure. You think so? Clip my car's bumper, but he's really skilled. This guy, he really controls his car so well. His movements are so precise, even on tough angles. But I still won't let him beat me. I'll show him what my car and I can do. Here we go! Ha! Come on! Come on, Come on I I We're nearing the last curve. If I can overtake him here, I'll win this race for sure. CVT! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. How could you? This car was my only friend! Uh, I will never forgive you for uh, this. <laughs> I know that you broke my car on purpose! Uh, uh, wait, please! You know, I think it's best you get out of here, you punk! Uh -huh. You should know better! Come on, let's go! Yeah! yeah. It's so mean! So how does it look like, Mina? Can you fix it? How long will it take? Oh my, it's pretty hard to tell. You see, I can't find replacement parts for this anymore. It's much too old. I'm really sorry about this. I did everything I could, Isaac. I'm begging you, please fix my car. It's really important to me, Mina. Please do something. I'll try one more time. I know how much this car means to you, Isaac. I promise you, I'm gonna do my best. Uh, thank you, Mina. I appreciate it. I'll come back tomorrow. Where am I gonna find those missing parts? Huh? Hold it right there! Freeze, you burglar! Huh? Ah! Ah! Hmm? Uh, sorry, it was just me! Huh? Tell me, Mina, why are you up so late and sneaking around like that? I thought you knew better. Well, I was looking for a replacement part for Isaac. Really now? So what happened to his car? Well, you see, a kid came to race with Isaac. He was really reckless and everything. And when he tried to overtake Isaac near the finish line, he crashed into Isaac's car and broke it. Isaac is the best racer in the region. That seems weird. There was some kid challenging him like that? 
Well, from what I heard, he's a two-time national champ. Hm. He doesn't act like one. Oh, uh, well, now I understand. But you still won't be able to find replacement parts here in the shop. And that's because Isaac's car is a very old model. We don't carry those parts in stock anymore, so you're just out of luck. Oh, I see. But I promised Isaac I'd do everything I could to help him fix his car. Wait, Dad! Aren't you a collector of classic models? Hmm. I know you have tons of cars at your disposal. Maybe I could take one apart and get the pieces I need? What do you say? Wouldn't that be a great idea? But what I collected are very old models. And I really don't think Isaac likes antique cars, huh? Maybe a champion like him could help me out. What do you think? He's pretty famous, right? Hmm. hmm. My dad has a lot of cars that he remodeled, but where are they? Where did he store them? I can't find anything in this room. Oh. Hmm? The Flash Mirage. Huh? On the next episode, Carson and Isaac, the two talented racers, are destined to meet. The loss of his car casts a shadow over Isaac's promising racing career. But how will their lives suddenly change in an instant? When Carson accidentally discovers a box which concealed the Flash Mirage, what conflicts will emerge between these two rivals on the racing track? A fight between two racing geniuses is about to unveil.